It's the Line Makers on Sporting News. All right, folks. Thanks for stopping by the Line Makers on Sporting News. The NHL is back, thankfully. Great betting opportunities are going to be available to us in this 99-day, 48-game schedule. Here at the South Point, there have been some developments. Money has, somebody's dumped the Brinks truck on the Vancouver Canucks. Good luck with that. Uh, opening at 10 to 1, they're down to 5 to 2. I mean, one of the teams you'd have to take a long, hard look at in the Western Conference. You know, the one problem is with these teams playing only teams within their own conference, the Western Conference teams are going to be at a distinct disadvantage because the travel is going to be an issue. All the East Coast teams, for the most part, they've got puddle jumper flights. So uh, the East Coast, our uh, East Conference teams are going to be, I would think, when the playoffs roll around, a lot fresher. Uh, let's talk about some of the other teams. A lot of money's been dumped on the Rangers. Rick Nash, of course, now uh, in New York. Certainly, I think you look at Pittsburgh, Sidney's Crosby, uh, his health is going to be a factor. And the LA Kings, they're on the board at 8-1 to to defend their Stanley Cup championship. Uh, listen, we're rooting for our good friends, the Wikis, who are involved with us here, the line makers on Sporting News. and They did a great job with the Kings, who were awesome last year. I just have to believe, uh, be it the Kings or any team, especially a team that wins it the first time, that Stanley Cup hangover is out there. We talked about it in a previous video here. And I'll tell you right out of the gate, one of the best angles you'll ever get in any sport ceremony games, especially in hockey. The players come out, they stand there, and they're on their skates, and the visiting teams in the locker room on the treadmill, they're chomping on nails and they come out and jump on them. The Blackhawks had a nice plus price on Saturday. They're raising a banner in LA. That's one of the biggest ceremony games that are out there. I think the Blackhawks are a value play on Saturday. And then the other thing you gotta look at are teams that had players playing during the lockout. The Flyers had the most with 16. They open the season against their bitter rivals, the Pittsburgh Penguins, Saturday afternoon at 3 Eastern. Then they've got to go to Buffalo and play a Sunday afternoon game, and it's the Sabres' home opener. Sabres had 11 guys playing during the lockout. I think the Sabres will be fresh as a daisy. It helps the Flyers. They get a game under their belt. But that quick turnaround in less than 24 hours playing another one, I think the Sabres are a solid play on Sunday as we get the NHL season underway this weekend.